Aber so laut. Yay! Make my pies. Peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> I really hope she gets to grow up because I think she'll be a really interesting character as she gets older. She's got a really interesting personality. How about a hunt for her? See if she gets a bit twisted. My hands are ready. See? Oh, yeah. Hey! I'm down here! got a tank, motherfuckers. <laughs> All it would take would be him saying something about the past, about him being the governor and him going mental and killing people to turn these people against him. But he's not saying anything. That's what I thought might happen. <laughs> like, oh no. Don't pick up the thing, it's covering something. I, I didn't actually think that would happen. I thought it would come close. Jesus. We'll win and you'll be dead. Oi. We all can change. What is their theory? They're destroying the place that they want safety in. Oh! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> Jeez! He's badass. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Fuck your tank. Oh, my God. 
Shame she shot him in the head. Now he won't turn. <laughs> See, that would be like the worst thing for him, wouldn't it? To turn. It's awesome. That was ridiculously awesome. It actually made me cry. <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, uh. do you think Judith's actually dead? Because if so, fucking irresponsible children who were supposed to look after the baby. Not that I actually cared much about Judith, but fuck! <laughs> it's like, uh, uh. That was insane. So that was insane and amazing. Um, I'm just. The episode was just so well put together. Like the fact that at the start it was so slow to start up, like there was no action, it was all very peaceful scenes, everything was going so nicely, everything was, and then suddenly Roof caves in and suddenly it's happening, like this is the action, like ah. And then, and there was like that moment of like the negotiation and all the way up until, and oh, by the way, this video is gonna be full of spoilers, so, uh, if, in case you hadn't already got that from the whole watching me react thing. I'm going to talk very freely about the episode, so <laughs> if for some reason you watch this video without having seen it yet, see it and then watch the video. Or don't, I, I, don't, I don't mind. Um, right up until the moment when he said liar and killed Herschel. It was, it was just calm, like it was tense but it was calm, like it was, oh, that's really weird, tense but calm, but it's tense but, but not, no action, no craziness, no stress, no activity, and then instantly it was just poof, everything, and it was constant all the way to the end, it was just, ah, wow, adrenaline, crazy, woo! First and foremost, um, Daryl is a badass, but we already knew that, but seriously, like, <laughs> Zombie, 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 grenade, fuck your tank. Um, it was ridiculous and he's amazing. And the other thing about Daryl, I really thought he was gonna go more haywire about Carol being like sent away. Like that, like I thought that was gonna, like I thought shit was gonna go down. But he was, he was just a bit angry and then he's like, okay, let's take care of business and get on with life. It's like, well, I guess, I don't know, he's sensible, but I thought, you know, I thought the whole romance thing was going to become more evident and he was going to actually let his emotions rule him a little bit more, but... Shut up! I'm trying to make a video here! Jeez! <sighs> I'm traumatised. And it'll be interesting to see if the group kind of joins back up again right away when the show comes back in February, um, or if everyone went in different directions and keeps going in different directions because no one set a specific place to meet. So the bus went off in one direction, Daryl and Beth went off in another direction, um, Tyrese and the girls went off in another direction. Maggie and Sasha and 
what's his face who drinks too much went off in another direction and then Carl and his dad went off in another direction like I was a bit horrified that the little girl got killed I mean I kind of saw it coming when she was like playing in the mud and it was like oh so sweet and innocent um, I even was thinking about like oh if she survives she'd be an interesting character as she gets older Unfortunately, innocence cannot survive in The Walking Dead. As I guess we saw with the two girls being fucking badass and shooting people in the middle of the head. Which I did not see coming. I mean, the more kind of determined to be awesome and stuff that that girl got, the more I thought this kind of nature is going to be the end of you. Like, you're you're gonna walk into a situation you're not ready for, you're gonna fail when you're trying to kill somebody and you're gonna get killed and everyone's gonna be like we couldn't save her, she put herself in a situation that she couldn't deal with and but then she ended up being awesome and I'm so uh... that girl keeps on being badass when I'm not expecting her to be I'm not sure why, I just have it in my mind that she should fail, I guess, I don't know, little girls in this show often end up dead or weak, so I guess I'm just kind of already ready to see her being the same as the rest of them, so I think the fact that they've got a little girl who's actually kind of standing up and achieving things and being awesome. Like, Carl is awesome. Carl has become awesome from being the most annoying little brat ever. I hated Carl in the first couple of seasons, and now he's amazing. He's a brilliant character who's got such emotional depth and so responsible, and I'm just, I just love him. He's brilliant. And now this little girl, whose name I can't even remember because I haven't been getting attached to her because I've been confident that she's going to freaking die. And now she's just being brilliant. Oh well. Realistically, I'm just glad that Maggie and Glenn are okay. They're both out of the jail. They, neither of them got killed. I was getting a bit worried, but neither of them got killed. It's all good. Uh, that would have been really bad. Because I loved them. And I loved Daryl. So, the seven dot points of Penny's opinion of The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 8. 1. Daryl is a badass. 2. Judith may or may not be dead, but I'm personally not really bothered. <laughs> it's a fantastic idea though, so there's great character developments to come from that. I'm so excited. 3. Little girls can be badass. Not as badass as Daryl, but badass. 4. No country for old men. Sorry, Herschel. Five. Daryl is a badass. Did I already say that? Six. What's going to happen to those two sisters from the governor's group now? And seven. Daryl is a badass. Because it just needs to be said again. That's all from me. And if you haven't seen it, watch it. And look forward to February because the second half of the season is going to be fantastic. But for now, bye.